let's learn about common factors and multiples when there is this word common that means we are trying to find something common between two numbers and that something is factors or multiples and we'll see what are factors and multiples now so let's say we have two numbers 12 and say 16 let me just write 16 in another color so let's say 12 and 16 so now what are factors that's what we are interested in first factor is any number that completely divides the given number so here 4 completely divides 12 because i can definitely write 12 as 4 times 3 so i can see that 4 completely divides 12 the other factor is 3 because 3 also completely divides 12 so whenever you can write a number as a multiplication of two numbers then both of those numbers are factors so 4 and 3 are factors here are these the only factors of 12 probably not because we can find many other variations of writing 12 as a multiplication of two numbers so we will explore that as well but let's also find out factors of 16 we can write 16 as 4 times 4 so 4 is a factor here isn't it 4 is a factor again is 4 the only factor of 16 are there any other ways to write 16 in the multiplication of two numbers yes we will explore that but for now we can definitely see that 12 has 4 as a factor and 16 has 4 as a factor so definitely 4 is a common factor of 12 and 16 now like i said let's try and explore different many ways to write 12 i like to start by writing 1 times 12 and then we can also write 2 times 6 i just try and increase this number slowly so 3 times 4 and then after 3 we have 4 but then it will be repeated because we will have 4 times 3 which is repeated 12 is not completely divisible by 5 it is divisible by 6 but then it will be 6 times 2 and so on so we can write well as a multiplication in these many ways now let's try and explore how we can write 16 in different many multiplications 1 times 16 then we can write 2 times 8 we can write 4 times 4 and now after 4 16 is again divisible by 8 and 16 so these are different many ways in which we can write 16 as a multiplication of two numbers so in order to find factors you need to write the given number in multiplication of two other numbers and those are the factors and here we can spot many other common factors we see one here we see one here we see two here two here as well and we already identified 4 as a common factor so as 4 is a common factor of 12 and 16 it's not the only common factor we also have 1 2 and 4 so let me just write it here 1 2 and 4 so in the, instead of is we will have are the common factors of 12 and 16 so i hope you understand the concept of factors now let's see what are multiples we don't have to go anywhere i could say 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 are factors of 12 then 12 is a multiple of all these numbers so it's a reverse relationship so let's just say husband and wife and let's say a is husband and b is wife so if i say b is the wife of a then a is husband of b automatically that's how the relationship between multiple and factors work now to find multiples of any given number let's say 5 and we'll take another example such as 3 and take another example as 8 so now in order to find multiples of any given number you just have to multiply that given number by any number think about any number and multiply the given number you will get a multiple of the given number if i multiply this by 1 then i get 5 times 1 5 is a multiple of itself if i multiply it by 2 i get 10 as a multiple if i multiply 5 by 13 i can choose any number and i'll get multiples so 65 will be multiples since i can choose any number to multiply the given number i will get infinite multiples of the given number let's also do the same thing for 3 the multiples of 8 are as shown but what about common multiples how do we find common multiples of given two numbers personally whenever two numbers are given let's say for example 3 and 8 are given to us and if they ask us 
what are the common multiples of 3 and 8? A very simple method to do that is to multiply these two numbers. So here I see that 8 times 3 is done, 3 and 8 and I get 24. So 24 is a common multiple of 8 and 3 because 3 and 8 both are factors of 24 and every other multiple of 24 such as 24, 48, 72 etc are all common multiples of 3 and 8. But just remember there would be many other multiples of any two given numbers. Again if we were to find the common multiples of 5, 3 and 8 a very simple common multiple will be the multiplication of all 3. 5, 3 and 8 and that is 120. We can see if we can break down 120 into few other factors and see if 60 is also a common multiple of 5, 3 and 8 which in this case is not and then also can write this as 40 times 3 again 40 is not divisible by 3 so it's not a common multiple of 5, 3 and 8 but yes we can find common multiples of any given numbers and there are infinite common multiples of any given numbers. Now I would like to introduce one more interesting concept and that is going to be co-prime numbers. What are co-prime numbers? Co-prime numbers are the numbers which have 1 as the only common factor. For example, let's take 3 and 8. How can we write 3 as a multiplication of two numbers? 1 times 3. There is no other way. What about 8? We can write 1 times 8 or 2 times 4. There is no other way. And we can see that 1 appears in the factors of 3, 1 also appears in the factors of 8. But there is no other factor which is common to 3 and 8. And 1 is the only common factor for 3 and 8. And so 3 and 8 are co prime numbers. I'll encourage you to find out more co prime numbers since there are many, many co prime numbers. 